Doug, what do you make of Facebook's meta? I think these guys want to be gods and lords. You yeah. Know. I think they want to live forever. I think they want to run everything. I think they want to control everything. I think their hubris knows no bounds. Yeah. Is this just a too much belief in the trajectory of evolution that clearly we're at the moment where we must transcend ourselves? Yeah, and I think in the in the tech world, you've got a bunch of a bunch of guys with fifty pound brains mm -hmm. thinking much about the singularity and you know this this time in the future when all our computers hook up and arrive at consciousness. Mm -hmm. That's the singularity. And your toaster and your smart fridge are in on it. <laughs> um, th th these are the people who, um, who think like that, who think in those grooves. And it seems to me that they, when they were kids, they were too busy learning how to code or something and didn't ever watch a science fiction movie ever. <laughs> don't, don't you know how these things end? Don't, you know, good grief. Is, is, um, th that is sort of strange, this, this weird, um, you know, every science fiction movie goes, we know how this is supposed to go, and yet they're the ones building the science fiction future. How do they, how do they not see it? What do you think blinds them to that? Yeah, it, it, because, for example, if I were... Um, an evil genius advising them, I would advise them, look, you guys, you have to, you have to indicate some awareness of mm -hmm. the narrative that is taking shape in everybody else's mind when they're mm -hmm. watching you do these things. Um, but they are, they, they're living in a bubble. And that's part of, it's a rich guy's bubble, it's a tech world bubble, mm -hmm. and it's the liberal uh, progressive bubble. And, it's, uh, and so I don't think that they know regular people who would say, didn't you see that movie? Do you think this is a Tower of Babel kind of moment where God is going yes. to have to... I, yes, I believe, I believe that it, it is um, very much the Tower of Babel temptation. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I don't want to say that they are near to completing the, their tower. Mm -hmm. um, God says in, in Genesis, God says that if they do, succeed in do the, doing this, nothing will be held back from them. So God took the ziggurat that they were building very mm -hmm. seriously. I don't know that I would take uh, the tech giants quite as seriously, mm -hmm. but seriously enough, they're, they're gonna, they will do as the villains in our piece. They're, they may not be the ultimate giants, but they're giants that are big enough for us to ha have to fight. If, uh, if Lewis was writing this story, sort of um, that hideous strength building, how do you think he would have the whole thing fall apart? Um, where, where, where does it go from here if, if Lewis is, is yeah. writing the screen? The more I read Lewis and the more I look at the world around me, I, I, I think we're in a position to make the argument that Lewis did interact with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't, if it's, I don't think the question is, what would Lewis say if he were here? I think Lewis would say what he said. He was here, he, he said it. <laughs> he was here and he said it half a century before uh -huh. it happened. It's all, the, all, all there in Lewis. Um, uh, robot, sex with robots, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, the collusion of the, the uh, combining and collusion and corruption of science by demonic forces. It's, mm. it's all there. Interesting. Thanks.